it's 15% efficient. And it turns out that an electric engine is 65% efficient. So here we are. You know, we're like in the idiot stage of technology. That's my point of that story. And what I know is, is that enlightened societies don't continue to live with that level of inefficiency. Because not only is it unsustainable, but it's just really stupid, right? So what I'm saying is, is that this is your time. The Minnesota PUC and your state representatives need to be told stories. And Governor Dayton needs to ask for an EIS an EIS, Environmental Impact Statement, you need to ask for an Environmental Impact Statement for the EPA, the Federal and the Army Corps of Engineers on those pipelines. He needs to say, slow down, and I really, really need Duluth to do this, because you guys are a big northern city. You are, in fact, you are the big northern city, right? I didn't miss any other cities up here, right? I mean, there's like Grand Rapids and stuff like that, but you guys are the big ones. And so I really, we, I wanted to come to Duluth because I love Duluth, it's like my favorite city but also I really want to come to Duluth because we really want Duluth to begin to say, we want something better. And our water is worth more than your oil. And that's what we believe. And we need to be that and in that light and path we got to call on. So we have some cards and we have some information. Turn out at some of these hearings would help us stop the process of the PUC because it is really, really flawed. And then help us get, you know, this federal protection in here. Last thing I'm going to say is we're taking off tomorrow and, uh, we're testifying, and uh, Allison Akamatu is going to be testifying in McGregor, Minnesota, in front of the Public Utilities Commission. I think that that polar bear rap song would be good for the Public Utilities Commission. Right? Okay. Good. Those kind of boys are going to be with us singing this off. I'm going to bring them up tonight, and uh, we're going to we're going to start singing to my horses. But uh, and I'm going to be canoeing. I will not be riding a horse. You gathered that. But I've been working on the guns. The guns are still good. Um, so uh, we're going to be canoeing, but I'm going to be joining a lot of other Ojibwe uh, also, and I'm going to be harvesting some rice. And I don't know if you noticed this, but the Ojibwe, is I'm, I'm a, a tribal member from the Wailith Reservation, and, uh, and uh, we are also part of the 1855 treaty. That is our treaty. And so our people in our 1855 treaty authority gave notice to the state of Minnesota and the governor here about a week and a half ago that we intended to rice in the 1855 treaty and we were not. We were very clear about it because we don't do it any, we were not carrying the state of Minnesota's license because we don't need to. This is my license. So on 27th, we're racing Hole in the Day Lake near Nisla. And they are expecting to come out and arrest us and confiscate our boats and rice. That's what they, the state has said that they're gonna do. And I think it's really important for the citizens of Minnesota to think of a couple of things. One, those treaties were agreements between your ancestors and ours. We wanna uphold those agreements. Uphold those agreements between your ancestors and ours. And the other thing is, is that it is pretty darn ironic that the state of Minnesota wants to arrest some Indians for poaching rice. And they won't even stand up to Enbridge who wants to destroy the rice, or Polly Med who wants to destroy the rice, right? They don't even care about the rice, they try to lower the sulfate standard, right? Isn't that what they're doing, right? That's what they're trying to do, but they want to arrest us for rice, and so stand with us. Stand with us, man. 27th, you know? I'll think I need bail money, but... I want my rice and I want my canoe. So that's what we're doing. So this is the beginning. I want to start here and we're ending on uh, the second. We have a show in Bemidji, but the 31st, we're going to be up in Rice Lake on our reservation. So uh, thank you for joining us tonight. There's some literature. I hope you take it and enjoy this. I'll be back up at the end to thank you again. But I just want to let you know kind of what's going down. And there's a bunch of super geeky literature about, you know, barrels per day and things like that. Things that we really didn't want to know, did we? But it's important that we know those things. And uh, Tanya, how are you back there? She's been at every event and she's uh, our lead person down there at East Lake. So we're going to have a musicians in our multicultural evening here. Uh, these young women, Sister Tree, I just love them. They did a benefit. We did a benefit with Eve Ensler in the cities on the 19th of February. 
and these young women, my sister knew them, and she said, they need a play. And ever since I heard them, I've been in love with them. So we just spent three days together, and uh, they're playing tonight, and then they're coming back to join us in, uh, in a few days, but apparently they have uh, normal jobs and children to put in school, so they have to leave the road show for a bit. But please enjoy our, our fine sisters from Sister Tree, and uh, thank you again so much for coming out. Thank you.